Dragon Ball Super episode 84 was awesome and a little disturbing at the same time. I'm going to get right into the review. But first, guys, I released Anime War episode 3 yesterday, so make sure after you watch this video, you go and check that out. Okay, so the episode opens up with Goku and Gohan flying to Krillin's place. It's at this point that Goku lies to Android 18, selling the winners, get 10 million zenny. And she's like, is it really true? And he's lying at this point. And then he looks her in the face and says, I ain't lying. So Goku is even lying about lying, and he's doing anything to get fighters for this tournament. Anyways, Gohan and Krillin go to practice spar for the tournament of power. Krillin makes a speech about talking about how the rules are so important, and he's like, Gohan, do you actually understand what that means? So this episode had two major themes, and number one was brains over brawn, and number two was teamwork triumphs everything. And so Krillin, I understand a lot of people are going to be upset at this episode because Krillin is really weak, especially compared to Gohan and Goku. And he actually like stood a chance against them, which is absolutely ridiculous. But this is why Goku didn't want to bring Goten and Trunks because they're pure power and they're not going to understand things like rules and how to use them to their advantage. And this is exactly why Goku wants Krillin because he's intelligent and he's a very good martial artist. It's kind of the same reason that he picks Master Roshi, because you're able to use the rules to your advantage, it can make weaker but more intelligent fighters seem way stronger. So we finally get to see Krillin's new technique, which is the Solar Flare times 100. It's so strong that even with your eyes closed, you can't block it out. Apparently sunglasses still work though. Not only can you not block it with your eyes closed, but you also can't sense key at least from the user and it's at that point that Krillin is able to knock Gohan out of bounds and it's like oh my god so Gohan even says I am really experienced and he knows that he has some learning to do about using rules to his advantage so Goku asks to spar Krillin as well and he's this very evil look on his face one of many in this episode we get a really awesome picture of Krillin preparing to fight Goku and some flashbacks of when they used to fight each other in Dragon Ball. Krillin starts by throwing a bunch of Kian Zans. Goku dodges them and then Krillin starts to charge up a solar flare and even says solar faking Goku out prompting Goku to cover his eyes so now that he doesn't have vision Krillin goes in with an attack and starts charging up some energy balls and just shoots this slew of energy beams at Goku which was actually pretty damn cool. We get this very fast paced high intensity action scene tons of frames making very smooth animation we get this really cool scene of goku dodging and this is probably my favorite animation in the entire episode it's so many frames so goku's like all right enough dodging destructor discs let's blow them up and then krillin uses that time to fly in and punch goku and then use a really awesome blast on him prompting goku to turn into a super saiyan to stop from falling out of bounds however we learn that krillin's attack was just a diversion as one of those destructor discs sliced open hole in the ground trying to get goku to ring out However, Goku is able to survive that without getting knocked out of bounds and turns into Super Saiyan Blue. And it's like, really, Goku is overkill. So we get this really cool Kamehameha charge up between best friends. This was very dramatic and I loved it. So Krillin and Goku are involved in a beam struggle. And I know this is, again, another point where Pew fans are going to be going a little crazy. I mean, Krillin should not even be remotely close to the power of Goku Super Saiyan Blue, yet he's able to push his Kamehameha back absolutely ridiculous but i digress so goku yells a little bit and puts more of his key into the blast and then he starts pushing krillin back to that point that wifey saves her husband by kicking the kamehameha out of goku's hands and it's a good thing because goku almost just killed his best friend and goku looks very sadistic and almost even evil here he's letting his thirst for battle completely take over his conscious thoughts about even his best friend and his best friend's life but it's at that point that goku says that's enough puts a smile on his face and finally comes to the consensus that he's losing it a little bit and he needs to kind of change his train of thought he's thinking that he's going to go into the tournament of power with this like bloodthirsty attitude and he even says to himself just imagining what would happen if i entered like this is terrifying because he probably would have killed everybody 
So finally, the episode basically ends with Goku saying, hey, I want to recruit Android 17 as well. I've never even met him, but I want to. And we learn a little bit about Android 17. He's basically a park ranger at a wildlife preserve. And Goku's going to go try and visit him next episode. Now, I really, really, really want to talk about the preview for episode 85, but I'm going to save that video for tomorrow. I also want to make a video talking about Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 1, which was phenomenal. If you haven't seen that yet, go watch it because it was really, really beautiful and scary and fun and like chilling all at the same time. I absolutely was shocked and in awe at how amazing of an episode that Attack on Titan Season 2 Episode 1 was. So I'm going to talk about that probably Tuesday or something. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Uh, look out for a video tomorrow on the Episode 85 preview. And while you're here, go check out DragonBallStuff.com. I just made a bunch of Anime War t-shirts, and I have a sale on the entire store, 15% off, through today. So that ends uh, tonight. So if you want any gear or clothes or anything like that, Go check out DragonBallStuff.com. Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.